Hi, this is Mrs. Nagayama, and this is a recording for to help you with the Unit 4.08 quiz. Please review sections 4.06, 4.07, and 4.08 before taking this quiz. So here are the quiz topics we're going to be going over. What are genes? What is the relationship between chromosomes and genes? What is the relationship between gene and alleles? So what are genes? We've been over this a couple of times already, but genes are sections of DNA that code for traits. Genes code for proteins that make a person's eye color, hair color, hair texture, etc. So if you see this long piece of DNA, each section will code for a certain gene. What is the relationship between chromosome and genes? So if you look at the nucleus, you'll see chromosomes inside of it. These chromosomes are tightly wound DNA. If we were to unwind the chromosomes, we would see that we would have DNAs and each section of that DNA would be genes. So chromosomes are made up of many genes. So here's the first sample question. Which sentence correctly describes the relationship between chromosomes and genes? A, organisms have many more chromosomes than they do genes. B, every chromosome is made up of many genes. C, chromosome is just another word for gene. Or D, genes use chromosomes to make proteins. So which one correctly describes the relationship between chromosomes and genes? If we go back one slide, we'll see that it says chromosomes are made up of many genes. So again, if you were to unwind those chromosomes, you would see within the DNA that there are genes. So the best answer for this one would be B, every chromosome is made up of many genes. All right, here's the last sample question from quiz 4.08. A person's skin cells and heart cells both have a complete copy of all the person's chromosomes. Each cell, however, makes different types of proteins to perform its function. What is the source of the instructions from which all the proteins are made? Is it A, genes, B, mitochondria, C, gametes, or D, cell membrane? So where do we get all the instructions that we need in order to make proteins? If we go back a couple slides, we see that genes actually code for proteins. They're the ones that um, have the information that determine the person's eye color, their hair color, etc. So the best answer for this one would be A, genes. If you need more resources or if you need help on anything in Unit 4, please contact me. Um, remember that you want to score at least a 60% or better on the quiz in order to get a passing grade in this class.